What's up guys? Chase Majerus here, otherwise known as the Money Millennial. Just chilling in this uh, little studio in a box. You know, we're gonna be talking about memes today since it's the only way that you guys take in any information. I've been doing this because I've seen a bunch of memes out there and to be completely honest, especially when it comes to like politics and financial stuff, it's not right and it's annoying me a little bit. Probably more than it should. So the first one we're gonna do is this one. This is so deep. The American youths all want avocado toast instead of homeowners association fees from the ideology store. You guys are so dumb. You know I was gonna use this one first because we all we always talk about the avocado toast over home ownership. Here's what they're really talking about. It's a lifestyle where you're buying avocado toast and it's good, well, fine, whatever. Be spontaneous, but also understand where all of this money is going. Cause it's not towards anything that you can get money back on. If you were like, I want avocado toast from, and let's just say a local place that I love going to here in San Diego where I'm from, it's called Rustic Root. What's up, Rustic Root? Love you guys. They have an avocado toast on their brunch menu, and their avocado toast is $12. Going out and getting an Uber, going and getting drinks, going and getting food from places that you don't really need to be spending the money. You know, there are lots of other healthy alternatives because trust me, I like a healthy lifestyle. But if you honestly fucking think that you can spend all the money that you do and you're, you, you're trying to save money for even rent, saving money for a home, saving money for a new car, it's gonna make it way harder for you to get ahead in any way, shape, or form if you're not doing anything to help. Does that make sense? Okay, so this next one is perfect for what I just talked about. This is from one of my favorite shows called Futurama, but it's Fry, and he's saying, not sure if I'm saving money or losing money. Hmm. Okay, this one's tough because it definitely feels like when you're saving that you're, you're losing money. While you are losing it in the moment, you get it back later. You could get a new TV if you wanted to. I'm not saying that you should do that with your money exactly, but you could go on a trip. You could buy a home. You could put money for a down payment on rent. You could move out of your parents' house. You could get a new car. It sucks, but the truth is if you save money, I guarantee you that you'll have a little bit of financial stability and you'll have a little bit of mental stability. And we all strive for that at the end of the day. Am I wrong? So here's our last one. And our boy Dylan is going to join us for this last one. But only in spirit. He won't say anything. This one's great because we were just talking about saving money. But what ends up happening when you save money is that you are inclined to spend it all on bullshit. You make a thousand dollars per paycheck. All right, save about 20 to 30% of that paycheck, at least, where you're losing your money. Let's just say for a long period of time, all of a sudden you, you've, you've accrued somewhere in the two and a half thousand dollar range of savings. Two and a half thousand dollars in savings. You can definitely put money down on a car payment. I would know I did that recently. It was really nice not driving my piece of shit car around anymore, especially now that I have a girlfriend. So. There's that. I'm the Money Millennial. I'll see you guys in the next one where we're talking about more memes.